Hi everyone, this is another production of Car Repairs Made Easy. Today we're working on a 1996 Impala SS. Um, we're going to replace the cooling fan motors. Uh, we showed you that in a previous video, how we've seen that they were bad. Um, this is a pretty simple job. Uh, first we're going to start by taking this part of the air duct off. Hose clamp here. This is a flat headed screwdriver. And this one here. Take that loose. Aha. And make sure you unplug the intake temp sensor. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take these two 13s off. Here, and this should come off. Move this out of the way. And one more hose clamp here. And one little vacuum line here. Be careful not to break any break this. These cars are older, older and kind of brittle. Get that out of the way. As you can see, the cooling fans are right there out in the open. We need to take our flat bladed screwdriver, unplug the connector here. Just give a little twist. Can you see? Mm -hmm. And that should come off right there. <laughs> There's a couple of harness retainers on this. Just get your screwdriver in them and they'll open up. There's one there. I have a second one up here for this side. Okay, now we got some better lighting. We got these two here. You see, you get a uh, screwdriver in here and twist that. Now we have one on this side we need to get loose. There, and this other fan is on the bottom. This one's kind of a tricky one, so what we're going to do is we're just going to unplug this here. It'll be easier to unplug that on the bench. And each one has should have three 10 millimeter bolts in each leg. Find it. Aha, that one's not bolted, that one sets in. We're just going to use. Wait, do we have air? Uh huh. Uh, no, I'd have to turn the compressor on. An 18 mile long bolt. That's pretty long. Jesus. I know. Isn't that? I don't understand. This one should be shorter. Significantly shorter. There's that short one. And this just pulls right out. It's just set it into a bracket down there. That's one. We'll lay that there so we know which side it goes on. I may not be able to see. Let me actually take it out. In a tight spot like this, you can just, um, once you get it broke loose, you should be able to just grab the socket and turn it. It should come out there. There's that one. And we have our top one up here. That's three feet long. 
I want an extension back for that. Actually, we're going to cheat for the top, for the top end since it takes like three days to get that one out. <laughs> and this one slides out. You definitely want to be careful you don't hit the radiator with this, puncture a hole in it. And it's just going to come loose from there to get the fan blade off. You have a couple bolts in the back. We will get ready to, we'll get our tools and get prepped for that and make a space on our bench. And we'll show you how to swap them. Okay, now we got the fans out, it's time to change the motors. So it's right on the fan blade, left hand thread. You see the arrow pointing this way, which is Take it off to the, go to the normal right. aspect, you would go clockwise to loosen on this. Okay, take the fan blade off. I understood what you meant. And we got three tens here, but I'm gonna get this connector off first. Use our pocket screwdriver, get that clip up. Okay, a little corroded. All right, now on this side we got our tens. Okay, lift our motor out. Get our new one. It looks like it has a lot of holes, but just put them back in where they were before. Okay, he's going to use this cordless impact to put these in because he has experience using it. I recommend you do this with hand tools that we don't cross thread it or strip the threads out because you are just running the bolts into plastic. Okay, I'll see here on the fan there's little nipples on there. They go through the slots. And this blade on the motor. There it goes. We got a new nut for that. And this one I'm going to do by hand. Remember, counterclockwise to tighten. Okay. Put our connector back on. So just like that. That one will be ready to put in the car. Set that over there. And do fan number two, which this is the one that was really bad. Okay. See how bad that is? His motor shot. This one's a different design. See how bad that is? We're going to set this one in there like that. Now even though it's in an open box, the, um, it's a little bit different setup. Probably looks more like a universal style motor, which Sometimes you'll get, even from the manufacturers, uh, especially with the old vehicles. That's why we have different nuts and bolts. Okay. Which is probably to mount on another bracket, different bracket, right. but we are going to use the ones that were in the plastic because they're the proper threads to hold it down. Now you see it's got an indentation on this side, not on that side. Which means this goes on these, this push pin, just like that. This one has the same little nipples on the blade. 
now we're on and then it give me a new nut All right, well you'll be able to use the old one still nice and snug now. That fan's going to spin nice in there. And it'll be quiet. You see this doesn't have the exact same setup as the other motor. The other one had just a plug just like the old one on the motor itself like this. Okay. You just got a little extra wire there so what we'll probably do is tie it back here, hook it in with a zip tie and it'll be fine. But what we did do is we made sure that the connectors were exactly the same. So they will work. All right, we're going to get a couple tools together and we will install these things. All right, now we're ready to install the fans. Um, we tricked you this time. I took them out. He changed the motors. Now I'm putting them back in. So you never know who you're going to see when you watch our videos. But one thing we can guarantee you is we're going to give you the best kind of video we can give you. All right. This is the slot here that holds this leg of the fan. It's going to go on this tab. Same thing for the other one has one there. Let's get that slid in there. Just line up these other two bolts. Here we'll take the one that's like 3,000 feet long. <laughs> Put this one in here and we'll get it started. And that'll hold the top. We don't want to tighten it down in case we have to move it. You see it moves a little. Short one and get it way down in here. That's our shorter one. Started. There we go. What? Let's see what's going. This is not <laughs> <laughs> My beautiful wife just smacked his ass. <laughs> Candy does have a tight ass. My hand is stinging right now. <laughs> okay, it's back to work. <laughs> I know he's gonna say payback is a bitch. And it's probably gonna hurt. Nope, I'm just concentrating on getting this done. Alright, that's the bottom one there. Putting this one down. That's nice and secure. We'll grab the other one here. Same thing, we have this slotted opening here, goes on that tab down there. All right, three foot screw. That will hold the top there. Let me take our short bolt here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna tighten this we are so far. It's going up. Alright, now that we have our fans mounted, you can see from the other video how they were loose. You can see this is tight. That's just normal movement there. That's just fan flex. Yep. Plug in the main connector here. And we are going to show you us turning them on so you can hear how quiet they are now. Our one important thing to remember when working around electric cooling fans is you should, you should disconnect the battery because these fans it's not just something they put on the car. These can come on at any time. The computers control it. They so can come though, on with the engine off. Yep, so even though this thing's been off for a while, they could still come on. I'll get this plugged in here. Our retainer, open that up. One more here, I can find it. 
we'll try to put these back where they were because the conduit and stuff is already formed. And we have all this excess. What we're going to do is we're going to put it right here. We have a hole there. And we're just going to get a zip tie and tighten that up real tight. Is that the shop mascot? Shop mascot. Yeah, there you go. The light does no good pointing down on the pulleys. Sorry, I was uh, working over here. I was aiming at the dog. And now that's secure. It's out of the way. Here, get out of the way. I'll zoom in on that. Let me just cut the excess off here. Okay, now we're going to run these fans so you can hear how quiet they are and what they're supposed to sound like. They're all nice and quiet. Unlike our other video when we yep. showed you how bad they were. Exactly, no noises are winding down. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to get this ductwork put back on. We're going to fill this thing up with coolant and we're going to call it a night. So that is cooling fan replacement on a 1996 Chevy Impala SS. This is John and Andy. Car repairs made easy. <laughs> Make sure you visit our website at carrepairsmadeeasy.com and visit us on Facebook and Twitter. And we're going to post the links to those places in the description below. And we'll see you later then, Nates.